the word of them. Um, and so it's it's fun kind of tends kind of to come from that. Yeah. But one of the things that was funny about it, one of the things that was defined was that it was kind of easy. Right? Uh, do you think you could like see yourself playing that like hours on end replaying, you have to turn the rope hours on end? Mm -hmm. Why not then? Well, because like you would just be doing the exact same thing over and over again. Whereas like in other like RPGs or first person shooters, you could play the same game again and do I would employ a different strategy, like, or play it a different way. Okay. Or try to do it just faster and better. Okay. Um, so good games or fun games often have an element of, like, replayability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where when you play it, you, it's like playing a new game. Yeah. When you play it again. It's a new yeah. experience. Um, they would say the same thing about, like, reading a book. Like, reading, reading a book, like, it's a new experience. Or watching a movie, like, the first time. Yeah. Um, but definitely in games, especially if you're like playing Mario Kart I mean, or Super Smash Brothers, right? Have you ever played the same Super Smash Brothers match twice? <laughs> no, I haven't. Right, you can't because they're like single matches. That's it. Yeah. Right? It's gone. And that game is fun because it's designed so that you can play a new game every time you play the game. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, cool. There's one match that I hopefully never repeat, but <laughs> that was um, like a friend and I decided to take on. Um, a 99 stock team of uh, my Super Mario Brothers, uh, which took about two hours to kill off that team, and then we realized that we weren't actually playing co-op, so we had to kill each other. There can only be one. Managed to whittle each other down to about one life, actually no, to exactly one life, up to 100% damage. Um, his character struck my character, and had he just left his controller sitting on the ground, he would have won. Rather, he was celebrating, jammed the control stick to the left, and fell off the platform. This <laughs> 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 actually happened. Three, three hours. I think we took a break oh, wow. halfway through. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Fun. It was what I would categorize as being pure fun. Pure fun? Yeah. All right. Sometimes so I'm play. probably going to have to, I mean, we're probably going to have to add more, like, call partners for that, but... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I think, like, you actually said something, and, and you said it earlier. Was it Tori? Somebody talking about multiplayer mm -hmm. game. Do you? Yeah. Man. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to put multiplayer, not because every game is multiplayer, but because games can very often be social. I mean, even, like, there's a lot of joy often in just watching somebody play a game. Or oh, there's a lot of joy in just like getting together like, with a Wii we can have like, a family reunion and play esports and things like that. So I think I think I think games tend to be social. I mean, especially nowadays. That's really popular game. Online play, World of Warcraft, stuff like that. Massive multiplayer online, whatever. Um, there's definitely a social element to games in general. I mean it's, and especially like with real life games, right? But often, you know, you're getting together with a girl to play bridge. I don't know if anybody gets together with a girl to play bridge. They used to. Um, so, okay. So, new experiences every time, like, when you play a game, it's always kind of something new. If it gets repetitive, it just, it's boring to do the same thing over and over again. Um, what if it was challenging, and now you've done it 20 times, and it's not getting very challenging, and it's getting a lot easier because you've been doing it 20 times, and it hasn't gotten any different. It's like the same game. And it can be fun the first, like, 18 times. Right? I, I, we've all had this experience, right? A game can be fun, you play it, play it, play it, and then it just gets boring and get tired of it. It's losing its originality and its freshness. And I think you can call that, like, like too easy. I think games are boring when they're too easy. Maybe some of you, I, you know, the example I always like to think of is, like, it's not fun to win all the time in games, right? Like, it's fun to have to lose because then you have a challenge. You have, like, something to strive for. Have something new to do, but it's like I play Mario Kart with my friends and I beat them every time. I, it's not fun. Like winning all the time, I kill myself so that we can like have a little bit of a challenge. Or like that's why there are handicaps in games. Obviously, I'm the guy who's best Mario Kart. <laughs> Describing it like this. Do you guys agree with that? Too easy. Or like that's part of not fun. That's not fun. Too easy is not fun. Not fun. And would you guys say that like the opposite of this is also not fun? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
to argue. Also, not fun. And obviously, like, this, like this is something about games. This is not about like a movie is not well, maybe intellectually, but like a movie is not hard, or reading a book is not hard in the same way that a video game is hard, because you're not you're, like you're trying to accomplish a challenge. The game has presented you with this task: save the princess. And if you keep falling into <coughs> your first pit over and over, and you say like, screw this game, this isn't fun. I'm not getting into it. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not, but like sensing any reward. Um, so. I think that video games or games in general have this kind of distinctive place where fun is somewhere between too easy and too hard. Is that fair? Okay. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out there that I think like I think that this this is a gameplay thing. This is something unique to games I play. Is the kind of thing that Cars is talking about. When he talks about to play a game, find that are infinite is to play it freely, right? You're like, oh, did you see those quotes? Were you here early enough? Yeah. Okay. So it's it's freedom, and here's what I think freedom is. I think freedom is the creation of possibility for the player. It's the opportunity to be able to try something, and because it's not too hard, you still have the chance to keep going. You still have the chance to explore. You still have the chance to try something that, that gives you a sense of reward, that you've accomplished something. And yet, it's not too easy. That would be too boring. And I don't think there's much in terms of like possibility, because we lose a sense of the freedom. We lose a sense of like new horizons, when things become too easy and repetitive. When they don't present a new challenge or like a new way of playing or the new experience, a different experience, um, there's no longer a sense, like personally for me, like of, of possibility. The game isn't really empowering me to play it, to do anything. And I think this is an interesting way to look at games in general, when you think about the games you play. I mean, when you consider something like Majora's Mask, right? In what way is Majora's Mask challenging? Would you say? And there are multiple levels, but you've been thinking about this game, so. Um, I mean, you have to fight. I mean, most of the difficulty is in fighting and in figuring out what you're supposed to do to like, send power. There's a bit of a lot of action there. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly just like you're fighting people, they are hard to kill. Right. Right. And you do, and like you can kill them. You're not going to just lose. There's, it's not pointless, your activity. Mm -hmm. There is some purpose in like you can succeed. And I think that's what a challenge is. And I think this is what's the character, like this is something core, like characteristic of games. Is that what a challenge is, is something that isn't too hard, and it isn't too easy, and it grants the possibility for play. Right? Gives you the opportunity to play in the first place. Because I don't think play begin, 